everybody video here for you today now this is the first i do a lot of by request videos for subscribers through comments and messages this is the first time i've ever done one for a neighbor my neighbor alicia who works in a musical show down at the bellagio when i was running across the street last night she caught me and said told me about an underwater city just outside of where she grew up she said she's dove on these and she's just a very nice person adorable so i cannot refuse to do this for her. this one's for you neighbor we're going down to baia in italy today here is where this ancient underwater city is located here is naples right here and right down here in this bay there is a archaeological underwater park i guess people can dive on it it's right down here and there is also some ruins up on land but this place was considered a pretty hedonistic place and I have heard or read many articles where they say this was the Las Vegas of the Roman Empire about 2,000 years ago. From overhead here, you get some maybe faint glimpses of what's underneath the water here on Google Earth. Let's talk about a couple things that are up on land first. Let's go right down here. This right down here is the Temple of Mercury. That's what it is called. Ancient ruins right down here. Let's go down and take a look. Here's a look inside the Temple of Mercury. We'll talk about the rulers that had villas here. One of them actually died here. Uh, retreat. That is a look inside, some water, just a shell of a ruin here. Here is a look at the Temple of Mercury from the outside. Some stone walls around it and other ruins. Here is a view overlooking the area, the bay out here. We swing around, some more Roman ruins here. Nero had a villa here. Julius Caesar had a villa here. So let's just talk about this area real quick. These are called the Thermal Baths of Sassandra, and there is also a Temple of Diana in this area. And that is the top of the Temple of Mercury right there. Here is the Temple of Venus, ancient ruins coming from roughly 2,000 years ago. Roman city here. There were things written about it way back then. It was called the harbor of vice, the vortex of luxury, the den of licentiousness and vice. And then it was written here about 2,000 years ago where this is the place where girls went to play at being girls, old women as girls, and some men as girls, according to a first century scribe. They wrote about wild beach parties and long drinking sessions here. And this is a site of a stunt by the emperor, the notorious emperor Caligula. Did a crazy stunt here. I'll talk about that in just a second here. Here's the area where these Roman ruins are. The emperor Hadrian died on a retreat here in the year 138. Let's go talk about what's right out here underneath the water. Let's go take a look at some pics, do a little reading. First, a little history. It says, Bio was said to have been named after Bias, the helmsman of Odysseus' ship in Homer's Odyssey, who was supposedly buried nearby. Here it talks about excavation done in 1803 and 1941, what they found, different eras of the Roman age. But I wanted to know why this place sank. Some of these ancient cities weren't built on the greatest locations as far as lasting for centuries and centuries. It says the lowering of the ground below sea level was due to Bradysism. And I've never heard of that term before, Bradysism. What is that? Thinking you can last longer than you physically can? No, probably not. It says, it says Bradysism is the gradual uplift or descent of part of the Earth's surface caused by the filling or emptying of underground magma chambers or hydrothermal activity, particularly in volcanic calderas. There is volcanoes around the area, that is for sure. Here is Atlas Obscura. I have used them before. By Italy, a submerged archaeological park still holds wonders of a Roman Sodom. One of the many preserved statues beneath the water here. It says, in its heyday, the classical Roman city of Baia was the hedonist Las Vegas of its time. But now its remains are partying beneath the waves here. It's like a pretty cool tile floor there found. Here's a look at one of the many statues here. This place started going underwater maybe about 1,700 years ago. And then finished going beneath the waves maybe about 800 of the current era. 
Here's another look at some statues, underwater ruins in the area. Glad to include this in a series of videos I have done concerning underwater ruins. Some of these go underwater for different reasons, but they're always fascinating to look at, that is for sure. This would be a pretty interesting place to dive. Here you notice a square tiles or stonework here and a floor. People have not walked on these for centuries. There's a diver down here. I will leave this link below. Here's a video I found. This was made in 2014. I will leave this link below, but they give a good look at the statues and underwater ruins here. I enjoyed watching this video. Pretty cool to look at. They show many different things here, and the stonework is still in fairly decent condition, considering it's been underwater for maybe 13, 15 centuries. Maybe as long as 16, 1700 years ago, this place started submerging. Here's another area where the stonework is very evident. Now, these Roman emperors of the time were kind of egomaniacs. And one of the crazier stories coming from this party resort area of the Roman emperors comes from 39 AD, Suetonius. He writes that Baia was the location for a stunt by the eccentric emperor Caligula to answer to the astrologer Thrasilius' prediction that he had no more chance of becoming emperor than of riding a horse across the Gulf of Baia? Well, Caligula then ordered a three-mile-long pontoon bridge to be built from impounded ships of the area, fastened together and weighted with sand, stretching from Baia to the neighboring port of Petulia. Clad in gold cloak, he then crossed it upon a horse. He rode across the bay on a horse, just to give crap to one of his opponents, I guess. There's a story that Ancient Origins did in 2017. The hedonistic sunken city of the Caesars recaptured by divers after 1,700 years. There's a look at one of the floors discovered down here. There is one area they show on this website article, just under the waves here, Ancient Ruins. More ruins under the water here. It's written in this article that Pliny the Younger lived here. And in 79 AD, he described the eruption of Mount Vesuvius from across the bay that destroyed Pompeii. Here's a look from the bay above water. But underwater ruins are always fascinating. It's like entering a different universe, and they get preserved pretty well. Here's another website I will leave below, Dive Buddies for Life. They did a good story on this place, Italy's own version of Atlantis. And, of course, any ruins at the bottom of the sea are going to be compared to Atlantis. Is that where Atlantis lies today, according to Plato and the Egyptians and the Mayans and other people? It talks about the Roman city that disappeared starting about 1,700 years ago. The people that used to live here, Nero, Julius Caesar, Marcus Antonius. But it says here, what happens in Baia stays in Baia. One of many videos I enjoy doing just because I learn a lot here is a diagram of the underwater ruins here. Here are a few more pics coming from these underwater ruins. I'll leave this link below also. That's a video. More underwater ruins here. This bay down here in Italy. I like looking into that. Never know what you're going to find. I'd like to thank my neighbor for suggesting that. I know she's looking forward to getting back to work as the Vegas casinos open up this week. One of my musical friends, but that is one I enjoyed doing. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very safe day.